Hi Maya, this is me, Mommy. I'm going to give you just a very quick basic introduction to algebra and then I'm going to do a second part later on either tonight or tomorrow. This is the first part, okay? So I don't want to confuse you so we're just going to start simple. Algebra really to me, when I was young, I didn't understand math. Math was boring until I got to algebra. Then I really enjoyed it. So maybe you'll be the same as me. So let's find out. So what is algebra? It just seems like it's weird, right? Because you see problems and they're going to look like this equals 4y plus 3. And you're going to be like, what is that? Why in the world does this have letters in it? It's math, right? Why does it have letters? Well, there's a reason for those letters. The reason is whenever you have a letter in a problem, I'm going to give you a super simple one first. Okay. This is a 3x equals 15. What we're looking for, I'm not going to tell you how to solve this problem yet because it'll be confusing. Okay, so I'm not going to tell you how to solve this, but what we're looking for is we're trying to find out what is x? What is this number? That's a question mark. Okay, so that's what algebra is. You're using letters inside of an equation to find the answer to problems that would otherwise be very difficult to solve. Algebra is actually there to make it easier to solve more complex problems. So that is the definition of algebra. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to talk about is the power of, and when we talk on the phone tomorrow, I'm going to make sure that you understand this because I'm going to ask you to help me do these problems. So here's the first problem. Okay, to the power of, what does to the power of mean? If I have 4 to the power of 1, whenever you have a 1 that's in the top right, it means that that's to the power of, and what that means is this is the same thing is 4 times 1 equals 4. Okay, now it gets a little bit more tricky with the next one. What I'm going to do here is 4 to the power of 2. What this means is it's 4 times the same thing. So it's 4 times 4. 4 to the power of 2 what is 4 times 4? It's 16, right? So the answer to uh, 4 to the second power is 16. Let's try another one. Let's do 5 to the power of 2. What would that be? Well, that would be the same thing. It's 5. There's two sets of 5, right? You can think of it like that, two sets of 5. So 5, and it's always multiply, times 5. So the answer of 5 to the second power equals 5 times 5, and the answer of that, of course, is 25. Okay, we're not going to get into too high of numbers today, yes, so as not to confuse you. Let me do one more. Let's do 3 to the power of 3. Here's a tricky one. I wonder what that means. So if you have the number 3 to the power of 3, it basically means there's three sets of 3 that are multiplied. There's 3, and how many sets of 3? Three? There's 3. So th then you write that down like this. 3 times 3 times 3. Oops. I can't write today. And what is 3 times 3 times 3? That's kind of hard. So what I would do is do this first. What's 3 times 3? That's 9. And then what is 9 times 3 again? It's 27. So the answer of 3 to the third power, or 3 cubed, is 27. Okay, so that is to the power of. And we're going to go over this the next time we talk. And the last thing I'm going to talk about on this YouTube video today is the number line. What is a number line? A line is like this. And it's like zero here. And what I want you to think of is think of money. Think of rupees. Are you getting my face too? Can you? Yeah, come back over. Okay, so then you're thinking of not only just the numbers, but just think of this as money. And whenever you're minusing something, it means it's coming out. Like say if you have a piggy bank. 
or a, something like a piggy bank at home and you're taking money out of it, let's say you take five rupees out of it, it wouldn't be here because this side of the line is going to be plus and this side is going to be minus. So this is a plus side and this is a minus side. So I'm going to call this one, this will be two, three, four, five, and then over here it's negative, so I'm going to minus, so I'm going to put minus one, or also negative means the same thing as minus. Okay, so minus two, minus three, minus four, and minus five. So I have minus five. You took five rupees out of your piggy bank. Oh my gosh, how are we going to get it back? We're going to add to it, right? So if you want to get it back and you want to have some more money over here on the positive and not be negative into your account, you are going to take the negative five rupees that you took already and say you want to add three more rupees. If you add three rupees to negative five rupees, you always go to the right. So it's one, two, three. So the answer would be negative two. I'm going to do one more thing and then we'll be finished for today. And we're going to talk more about the number line on the next video. I'm going to make a bigger number line and I'm going to give you a problem here. Okay. Negative 5, negative 10, negative 15. Okay. Let's say you want to buy some a candy bar from the store. You don't have any money, so you go in your grandma's cabinet, you ask her, hey grandma, can I borrow five rupees? No, more, I'm gonna borrow 15 rupees from you. Okay, so you go to ask grandma for 15 rupees. You've taken 15 rupees from grandma, so you have negative 15, you've taken 15 rupees, but you, the next day you tell her you're gonna pay her back, but my God, you only have eight cents. You only have eight cents. So you're not paying her back all the way yet, but you're going to pay her eight cents. So if I'm going to add eight cents to that negative 15, what would that be? Here's, the, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so then I go here and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So how many would that be, Troy? Seven. Negative seven. Negative seven, right. So it'd be negative seven. So you still owe grandma seven rupees. Let's say the next day you, you have ten rupee and you decided to give grandma an extra, you know, some extra rupees. So you want to go ahead and give her like you want to go ahead and give her ten rupees. So right now she's stuck at negative seven rupees because you, you have seven rupees there. And then you are going to give her 10. So negative 7 rupees plus 10 rupees. Let's figure that out. So here's negative 7. And then we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we will go here from negative 7, which is right here. And then you add 10 to that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And what does that equal? Three. So now grandma has not only what you've taken from her, but now she has three full rupees to keep plus what you've already given her. Let me know if this is confusing or if this is helpful. We're going to do this more um, and we can do it more slowly and I can draw it better to where it's more easy to see. But this is the beginning steps of algebra. I don't want to get into the letter part to be confusing until you understand the basics of this. Okay, so this is your first lesson. I'll make another one soon after we practice this. All right, I love you, Maya. Bye.